The most widespread venereal disease is gonorrhea. It is caused by the gonococcus germ. Note that the two spherical bacteria are pressed together so that one side is flattened. The gonococcus is a rather delicate germ that dries up quickly and dies in the outside world. It prospers only in the dark, warm, moist recesses of the human body. Now look at picture number two, please. Now this one's the sneaky spirochete. The corkscrew-shaped germ that causes syphilis is so tiny that 3,000 of them laid end to end will measure only one inch. The spirochete moves readily from person to person, person, to person. by direct skin-to-skin -skin contact during lovemaking and intercourse. It thrives in the warmth and moistness of the human body. Now look at picture number three, please. This lovely creature is not a germ, but an insect called the crab louse. And these beauties inhabit the pubic hairs Catch around the reproductive organs. Hairs. And during intimate sexual contact, they transfer from the hairs of an infected person to the pubic hairs of the unsuspecting yeah, partner. Yeah, pubic Thus, hairs. a crab infection spreads in the same way as syphilis, gonorrhea, or any other venereal disease. Now look at the final picture, please. Venereal diseases are caused by living germs that reach living you germs. when your body is in intimate contact with that of an infected person. With an infected person. Now, if you suffer from any venereal disease, don't try to cure yourself. A person who tries self-treatment for venereal disease has a fool for a, a doctor. doctor. Don't try to cure yourself. 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 Don't try to cure yourself.